Good morning, everyone. Today we're taking a look at the Banshee. This huge beast of a mech it is wide, tall. It's all the bad things you don't want a mech to be, but it is a lot of fun. Uh, and the mounts, for the most part, are decently high. Uh, this is a laser vomit build. So we have uh, three large pulse lasers and one, two, three, four, five meat pulse lasers. Nothing in the arms, so this is torso driven. Uh, I do have armor in the arms still, simply because I could and I didn't have any slots left. Um, we could technically, um, I guess you could drop, maybe you could drop endo steel. Uh, let's just see what happens. If we go endo steel, that'll be over. Yeah, it's way over. So four tons, you'd have to, yeah, you can't do that. So you'd have to go with the letter engine if you wanted to. I was thinking you could drop that and maybe, um, drop some armor, but you can't drop four tons of armor. Um, uh, so in any case, that is the, um, the loadout for today. Uh, and an Excel, and a, yes, this is an Excel engine 395. Um, I know that's not common on this size of a mech, uh, but um, it does work. Um, the light engine, I, you can put a light engine in here, you will go much, much slower. You will fall behind the any any kind of a NASCAR or a group move. Um, and there's a lot of armor up here, um, so. Yes, it can. You can lose a torso and lose the engine. But frankly, since all the weapons except this one meat pulse laser is in a torso, if you lose a torso anyway, you're down to like four four weapons, which is not terrible. But it's like at least half your firepower is gone, especially if you lose the right the right torso with the two large pulses. Um, but that didn't happen for the most part for me to me with playing this mech. Uh, so give it a shot. Uh, it is actually one of um, uh, Syncrum's uh, recommended builds for this build for this mech and I figured I'd give it a shot because it looked interesting so I hope you enjoy the two videos coming up click that subscribe button and I'll see you on the battlefield righty folks we are in the banshee today here we go this is a large laser meat pulse uh, large pulse laser meat pulse laser build uh, so lots of whoops lots of wub Gonna move on right away, get going into the area we want to go, which is there. We've now hit the lucky eye, and for shits and giggles, we've hit the second lucky eye. There we go. Now, if we can get people to move forward, that would be good. That other group near F3 is kind of just running in circles for some reason. I'm not rushing that side, they don't have long range weapons, they probably get more shots off on me than I would on them. So I will come around this side. How am I the first one out here? Well, I mean E4 groups there, but that's probably a light group. I'm not fast, I'm not that fast. Yeah, I know the map, but... I don't know. That's a Vulcan that's in the wrong spot, I'd say, but I'm not going up here yet. No way, no bloody way. What we need is people to be a little more aggressive. I chose not to, and I still got hit, but not as badly as I would have if I had gone all the way around. We need to position ourselves so that when they do come up,
where'd they go? Good warning time. I get the missile hit and then I get the warning. <laughs> Too funny. You guys coming up behind us now, eh? I can go fight him, I think. The rest of this play out. 10 3. I think we got this one in the bag. Uh, so the Benchies, uh, it's a big wide target. You got to make sure that other people are engaged before you kind of commit. Um, it's not the mech, the mech uh, class where you'd think it should be in the front shooting, blah, blah, blah. And it's, it is a frontline mech, but it's one line behind the front line. So let the tanks go in. Get the attention, and then you you focus on torsos. Like I was doing with the Corsair, I was going left torso to the left torso. Was going to went to right torso. I didn't get the kill, but that was what I was focusing on was the torso areas of that mech. Uh, let's see if we can get something a little more exciting. Maybe someone fighting somewhere. Got to be someone fighting something somewhere. Like that. Now we all got to do is find. Now all we have to do is find the last. There he is. Okay. <laughs> They've had, a, I guess, the guy coming up to go up that hill to be a sniper or something. I don't know. I'm guessing. Or he was just hiding to not die, but we found him. So, zero killing blows, nine kill assists, two KMDDs, 509 damage done, 472 taken, and no team damage. Yay. Easier to do with lasers, I find. <laughs> um, so, we have a 305, which is one, two, three, fourth in the group fifth in the match. I uh, hope you enjoyed number one. Stay tuned for second video. Uh, we'll try to pop out a little more damage, maybe get a couple kills in. That'd be nice. Uh, I'll see you on the battlefield. Alrighty, folks, here we go. Round two, Banshee. Yeah. Big snowy map. Got range weapons. Well, not the large pulses, but you know what I mean. <laughs> How'd I take an LRMs that I got in Solaris? In any case, at least with the size of this map, I most likely won't remain in the front of the uh, group. I prefer to be like second line, so... The reason I say that is because at 67.4, there are bound to be lots of people to pass by me, like those guys. I mean, this mech is just, it's big, it's huge, it's tall, uh, it's easy to hit, so I don't want to be standing out in the front. Nice hammer. <laughs> Too bad you can't do physical combat. This map is so big, it's like, walk for five minutes of bored nothingness and then intense fire over a, over one hill somewhere in the middle. As soon as someone sees a target, like that I-11, everyone beads, and they see it right there, there they are. And as soon as someone sees a target like that, everyone kind of just beelines straight for it. Well, those guys are just standing up on top. Oh, why? Down this valley and hold for a few seconds while everyone else does the same. The group get together. 
There's nothing I can do from this range. Nothing at all. Alright, seems to be more movement going on, so let's go! There's a lot of, um... <laughs> let's just say unnecessary movement going on in some spots. People are, like, turning in circles. Behind me. Ah, okay, now everyone seems to be moving. Stick to the valley as much as you can. Close the distance. Take some heads. Now uh, they're getting to large pulse range soon. Not yet. I don't want to be that one guy that sticks my head over the top. There we go. Okay. Shots out and then hide until we're more engaged. Nothing else I can do until we're more engaged. Well, I can go over here. Yeah, he's in a good spot for me to hit, but I can't get to him. like that approach, there's too many if then their butts and I'm all here by myself, so I'm gonna get behind this guy, I really don't want to cut him off. There's a whole bunch of them right here, but I can't get to them without really exposing myself to their snipers in the background. his weapons off. Is he running? He's running, eh? Could be. Limping is more... They're doing a... I'm doing an run around. Too far for that weapon, but still... Let's get a move on. Do not want to get surrounded from behind, especially considering they're up one. They're going to get cocky. Another component. Pulse weaponry is really good for that. Got another one. 
And another one. I gotta stop pooting for a minute to cool off. We're winning, so just gave a dance. No point in blowing myself up. Target spotted. Target destroyed. There we go. Thanks. Just gotta find the last two. Like I said, it's like you walk for like five minutes with nothing happening until you see a target, and then it's like ah, insanity. Oh, he's way, way at the other end. Okay. We have to get the PPC snipers, might get him. I think we're going to start moving towards their base just in case. Um, I don't think we're going to be. I won't be able to catch a flea, that's for sure. Even if they are poking their heads around our area a little bit. Fifty percent exactly left of my armor. I'll let those guys, the lighter guys, the faster guys, uh, fight it out with the last two, last one actually at this point. And I will go help capture the base. If anything comes towards us, I've got lots of little pretty lights for them. Let them come. <laughs> so as you can see, the um, uh, the ability to like concentrate on a torso or a leg or something like that, as long as you're not focused on, you see I had all, the enemy was just being surrounded by all our guys and I was just be able to take a target, boom, boom, boom. The Marauder was the only one I had to face down. And when I got this many pulse weapons, I just go for CT. Um, you don't know, we take a left torso off or something like that, you might take off half his weapons and still be able to shoot back, so. And there we go, and he destroyed himself. <laughs> the pulse weapon is more for like scalpel kind of attacks. If you can. When you can. So we have four killing blows, seven kill assists, one solo kill, two KMDD, 673 and 438 taken, seven components destroyed. We have a score of 452 with a little bit of capture time too. <laughs> And it's not even the highest in the match, so there you go, so how much was put out. So we have seconds, second in the match. So 478, a mad 6S, uh, that makes sense, it's a Marauder, lots of damage there. Uh, so I hope you enjoy these two videos of the Banshee uh, energy build. Uh, stay tuned for more, click that subscribe button, and I'll see you on the battlefield. Have a good day.